Welcome to the DAC in Philadelphia, home of one of the hottest teams in the country right now, the Drexel Dragons, winners of 13 straight, here to host the William & Mary Tribe tonight. Kind of uh, motion reminiscent, of course, of uh, longtime Princeton style. Shot clock down to one. Knocking it down at the top, Derek Thomas. What a shot, fading away. That's coming up tonight after us. It's Drexel's job to hold serve here at home and force somebody to catch him. Chris Fouts from the corner. Defense, I mean, they, they're doing it in all aspects of the game this season. High speed inside. Darryl McCoy. Floor for back cuts and dunks and all kinds of good things. Thomas got a piece of the block on the defensive end. Now he's going to try to fire the three, and he drains it. That's what really good point guards do at the Division One level. Russ Dolvin, nice shot off the window for two. This tournament when it matters most. The teams for the northern part of the league have historically not had a lot of success at the event down in Virginia, but Franz Mazinet, who's got an add one chance coming up, point nine coming in, so that becomes a bit of a head scratcher for Tony Shaver and company. How about Ludwig? From deep. Before he has it right now. Well, that's the jump that you want to see, and he's done it in the big way. Thomas again, that's up. Those that are independent. Massinet misses another three. Tribe sticking right with it as Kendrick Spren was down the lane and they'll call the block. It looked like they were going to call it offensive and then the referee changes his mind and instead it's a basket and a foul and it's on Massinet. Sammy Gibbons has been a monster inside. Ten rebounds for the Dragons. Here's a three. Fouch does it again. They cut off of it. Thornton with just two left. Thornton the long three. Got the buzzer what a shot by Marcus Thornton well that's been their game typically and then all of a sudden it's changed a little bit so Bruiser wants to go back to what you know, got him to this point three-pointer by Kendricks Brown Quinn McDowell see if he can try to get going nice left-handed layup for two and a foul he'll head to the free throw line after that free throw 35-31. Nice tip by McCoy to get the two for the Dragons. And Massinet. Lee gets into the end to the big three. As I watch Bruiser Flint's body language after that miss, he does not want shots that quickly in the half court. Thornton with a three-pointer for the try. Back down to a three-point ball game. First place tie, Drexel, VCU, and George Mason all at 13 and 2. Pass it out for three. It kind of stays on the perimeter of the play until it maybe breaks down a little bit, and then he's prepared to either spot up or slash. Thornton comes right back with another three. Slow it down type of ball game, use the entire shot clock. It's tough. Big shot there from Thomas in the corner. Trying to get into the act of the drive. They're down by just two. Another three-point try. Lee this time. Switch. Sammy Givens is up off the bench for Drexel. Looks like he may check in coming up the next whistle. So we'll see as Thornton drives for two. One-point ball game. Bread a little bit too much, but the follow is there by Tim Rustoven and William and Mary has the lead. It's, it's been very difficult for Drexel to enter that ball to their most reliable low post player. Pass it out, basket and a foul counted, and Drexel has regained the lead. And Mary just saying, it's okay, it's okay. And Warren, his team would keep it going on the defense line where it's been their strength, but Pass it out, drives for two once again. Thornton. Up to Brett, long three, and he trades it. Brandon Brett with 2.4 to go, and they foul Massinet immediately with two seconds left. They're going to have a hard time getting a two. Rump looking length of the floor. McDowell, he's got it. He falls down with it. There's no call. That is the ball game. So Drexel escapes with a two-point victory, a hard-fought victory here at home against William & Mary to win it 63-61. to 61.